Dealing with harassment is extremely difficult, and unfortunately it happens to so many people every day. It makes you want to become someone different. It makes you question everything you've done. It makes you blame yourself, and it makes you feel embarrassed. In just one short month, I had pulled away from almost everybody that I knew. I can remember a year ago sitting on the couch crying to myself because I felt so lost and alone. And not just in a physical sense, but one of those deep aches of emptiness and loss. Not only was I dealing with a huge transitional stage in my life, but also a very complicated situation that was becoming more serious and out of control. It was in that moment of vulnerability that something sparked in me to do something great. Before I knew it, I was clicking around on the Iron Man website and watching race recap videos and signing up for Iron Man Chattanooga. And it was in that moment that I started that journey to rediscover myself. Signing up for Iron Man isn't an instant cure-all for this problem, but just signing up for something that I knew would test every physical and mental limit in my body gave me enough courage to come forward and get the help I needed. And it was a long battle, but with the help of friends, family, and my training, it, it kept me grounded enough to not get swallowed up by it. And it gave me the confidence to continue to move forward. Triathlon gives me the strength to be who I am. It gives me the courage to tackle any challenge in life. It brings self-respect, self-love, self-discipline into my lifestyle. And now I don't question who I am or who I've become. To me, the journey to Ironman was the greatest gift I could have ever received. I didn't need a finisher's medal. I didn't need the race that day. What I needed was every person I met along the way, every challenge that I had to overcome, and to rediscover and love myself. And in the end, these are the things in my head that already made me an Iron Man.